Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe today is a new day hey, and we got a what? We got a banger! Let's go! Alright guys, today we're gonna be doing something cool and that is reviewing this little that's in Chinese, man. I don't know what it's saying. I've seen some of the comments down below when I bleached my hair. What kind of product is it? Do you recommend it? How long did it last? Uh, how long did you have it in your hair? And so I want to answer all those questions in this video. And I'm thankful for those of you guys that ask those questions because this video is for you. If you have any other question that you guys want to ask me, make sure you comment down below. If I get to you, I'll get to you. If I don't, I'll see multiple questions. I'm going to actually make a video like this just for you. And this is what I use basically when I went from my bleached hair to my silver hair and I use this as a way to go there and I didn't have to sacrifice bleaching my hair multiple times or anything like that because to go to platinum silver or really really silver you need to bleach your hair multiple times till basically the yellowness comes out of the bleach and that is hard to do a lot of people have lost so many hairs trying to get to that level to where they got platinum blonde or blonde or silver really it's what it is it's a silver color a uh, platinum blonde they call it that because it looks platinum which is silver and then blonde it still has that blonde look to it but the goal for me was to actually go to silver color so this color right here you see that's the color that I was going for and it was pretty difficult with just the bleach and you know washing it with different chemicals because they do make chemicals that that help get your hair to a silver color like this purple shampoo that I use or even other things that they made to actually get your hair to that color but I didn't want to go that route because I almost saw that like there's no way coming back from it so I've already bleached my hair multiple times and I'm trying to keep it as healthy as I can and not really just go for burning my hair completely I'm gonna talk about two pros and two cons of dye of dyeing my hair with the silver product I'm gonna start with the cons the bad side of dyeing your hair with this product and I'm gonna give you two and maybe even three and if I think about it for maybe even five but I'm gonna start with just two the first one is it feels so heavy as you can see the silver color is perfect that's what I was going for but the more you apply it to your hair the more it weights your hair down your hair almost gets heavier and you feel it right in that moment I tried weighting it on a scale to see if it made a difference on the little small uh, fake dreadlocks but actually it didn't make a difference on the scale and I have the scales on the ounces but I'm pretty sure that if you put it on a, every part of your hair and you weight it I believe it will weight differently than just your dreadlocks by itself so when I first did this I noticed the heaviness of it right away and it just felt like it was I had more hair it felt like I had a full head dreadlocks it just didn't feel like it was my natural hair weight and that makes sense because it sticks to your hair you don't wash it out afterwards and so it's something that you apply almost like a dirt think about it, applying dirt to your hair and letting it stay there and of course with the buildup I'll get back to it here in a bit after I felt the heaviness basically I couldn't style my hair as I wanted to and I had to go with the basic of hairstyles which is like ponytail or just putting it up and different things like that but anything else like it wasn't bending so I, I really didn't like that about that the, and the second con is that it gives you some kind of some sort of buildups and as you guys know what buildups is basically it's when your hair collects your dreadlocks continues to collect a bunch of stuff inside it and holds on to it one of the things that I noticed about this dye is it stays in your hair and I when I watched it, it took me a minute to take it out uh, but I got it all out if you rinse it of course it comes out it is not a semi permanent color or anything like that it doesn't stick to your actual hair it just stays on top of your hair and just and just like just holds on to your hair and actually the third one I want to add like I said I'm gonna add a few more the third one I want to add is few days later after it dries off and everything like that it will start to flake off so I wear suits most of the time and one of the top two suits that I wear the color were blue black or really dark blue and and a black suit and so all I noticed was a bunch of flakes on my suit and I felt like it was dandruff at first and I'm like what the heck I never had this much dandruff sometimes of course I find some flakes when I itch my hair or something like that on my shoulders but this was like like what the heck like somebody pour some salt on you or something or some garlic powder before you left the house you look weird you know so I, I noticed that about it and I really didn't like that part about it so I was just like I need to wash this thing up ASAP I kept it for like three weeks so 
for those of you guys that was wondering how long it lasted on my hair, it was three weeks. After three weeks later, I was done, I was ready to wash it, and I did so. And those are the top, top three cons that I would say that comes with this. So, I mean, everything that you do, there is a con. So, if you guys are going for this, I wouldn't say it's not a bad idea because you end up washing it out if you don't like it, and it just comes out as long as you rinse it pretty good. So, the top three to summarize flakes off, it's hard to wash, and it puts more density or more weight to your hair. But the pros are dope, and I really, really enjoyed it for that reason. It gives you the silver that you exactly wanted versus having you to bleach your hair until you get there. So I love the fact that when I automatically applied it, one of the first things that I noticed is that it, it gave me the actual result that I wanted to, to look. And of course, my best tip for those of you guys that's gonna end up using this is that you should have some kind of blondiness going on in your hair or one sense of bleach or something like that so it can blend in really good. What I noticed is when I applied it towards the black side of it, it really didn't give me the silver that I really wanted. It didn't stand out. The black basically sucks in the silverness out of it. It doesn't make it stand out. And just like how there's a bat, and just like how in this room, there's a white wall behind me and I'm wearing black, so now the contrast level is amazing and I, I'm able to stand out. Same way applying this dye. When you apply this dye, it actually needs some kind of thing to push the, the silverness out there. And so that's why I, I recommend you, if you have some kind of bleach like this, that's a cool thing to have. And if you never wanna bleach your hair and wanna just apply this, then this is what it looks like. This is me applying right here to a synthetic dreadlocks. And so this is synthetic dreadlocks is actually around to a or lower hair type and so it's able to and not saying that the, the hair type really matters but look at how black it is look how straight it is and the result that you see with this will be the result that you should be expecting if you were to apply it to a black dread locks to any other color I don't know what that result will be but I wouldn't recommend it like if you're trying to apply it on top of your red dreadlocks or green dreadlocks or something like that I wouldn't recommend it. I think bleach might be the best way around or just keep it black and get that silver and of course when you're taking pictures put some kind of light on it so that you can really see what the dreadlocks look like the second pro is to save me so much bleach and so much money on a on a buying side it actually like costs like seven bucks per product or something like that it was very cheap but you can find the link in the description so if you want to just purchase it or something like that that would be an easy way to get it and I got it from Amazon and it came in within four or five days not only did I save money you know instead of buying bleach and getting developer and different things I was able to save time by just applying this thing and getting the result that I want. And also it saved my hair from going through a rough time trying to get it as a silver from a bleach standpoint. Last but not least is what you see is what you get from this. The, literally the silver that you see when you open up this package as you can see right here is what I got from it. So there was no fluff, there was nothing like that. It's just how it's what it says is what it does. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment below what your thoughts are on this product. Would you ever use this product? And they do have different colors. And one of the things that I forgot to mention earlier is that whenever you're doing it with your hands, it washes off off your hands right away. As long as you're applying water, it just washes off just like that. Don't worry about it. You know, it doesn't stay on your finger for the rest of your life, just like how dye does. Dye actually stays in your hand for a long time. So thank you guys for watching this video. But till next time, keep acting the version, creating your universe. I'm Activerse. Make sure you guys check out Pineapple World. This is our new channel. And also 30K Dreadlock Reviews will be uploaded next week. So if you want to be participating in that, make sure you go to Pineapple World YouTube page, subscribe to it, and then DM us the screenshot and your dreadlock journey on our Pineapple World Instagram. Or you can post your journey on our Facebook page called Pineapple Fam and you automatically will be entered into the dreadlock review. Peace out and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.